Hello again, and welcome. Did you know a clean, secure environment free from distractions increases training effectiveness by 20%? Given your past performance, you can use any help you can get. And more good news. The Center for Human Annihilation Studies testing protocols have been improved since our last session. Reactions to highly changing test environments may now be observed. Make a note of the number of remaining fusion power cores, then draw an arrow to the note and write, that is a small number, next to the arrow. Then put an exclamation point after that. Actually, maybe you should use three exclamation points. Take your time when selecting the proper tower. Yes, gun towers are wonderful. Good range, flexible targeting. The pitter-patter of their tiny shells as they cascade to the ground. Did you know they are the most commonly built tower by those who fail? That is a very unorthodox tower choice. Most test subjects try to prevent alien invasion. Your double agent strategy is intriguing. Interesting. Perhaps this was to be expected. Subject finds new crutch to replace the one taken away. Must further adjust test branches. Here are some highly flammable inferno towers that you can move. Those temporal towers were just a little bit inevitable. Upgrading your tower at this time is a bold move. 
Perhaps you are trying to convince the alien horde of humanity's work by demonstrating your free will to choose poorly. Let's watch and see how that works out. Congratulations on demonstrating your addiction to specific tower types. The first step in overcoming your addiction is to admit that you have a problem. Please take that step now. The Human Annihilation Studies Group thanks you for your participation. Based on your success and or failure, you may or may not be contacted for further study on how to slash how not to prevent an alien invasion.